Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Slaughterhouse Rules. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go completely blind, then it's just come back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? What they're going to do? Eat you alive. <laughs> Delicious. So Slaughterhouse Rules stars Finn Cole, you may know him as Michael Gray from Peaky Blinders. The movie also stars Asa Butterfield, who you may remember from The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and Ender's Game. But other than those two, the main reason that I went to go see this movie was because of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, who you may know as the stars of the Cornetto trilogy. In Slaughterhouse Rules, Finn's character Dunn has managed to land himself a place at Slaughterhouse, which is a private school pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. Whilst at Slaughterhouse, he ends up getting put into his clique, he makes some friends, he does the usual stereotypical private school things, such as learning Latin, playing cricket, doing military drills, that kind of stuff. Whilst this is going on, the headmaster has allowed a fracking company to frack the ground around the school grounds. And because of the company's fracking, it has unleashed something below the Earth's surface. Now, my first thoughts about this movie was that it came across as a very lame version of Harry Potter. They split people up into their houses, they say they're not allowed to go into the dark woods. I mean, they even say about the dark woods, do not go into the dark woods if you do not wish to suffer a most painful death. Which, admittedly, I did laugh at, but it just added to this discount Harry Potter feel that the movie was giving off. Now, the two leads in this movie, Finn Cole and Asa Butterfield, are pretty much the driving force of the story, and their relationship is pretty much the main focus of the movie. They do admittedly have good chemistry, and they play off each other quite well. But unfortunately, this is one of the only few good things about this movie. Despite having a few chuckles, this movie didn't really make me laugh all that much. I mean, you could really tell which parts they really wanted the audience to laugh at, but it just never came across as particularly all that funny. And to say that another big problem is that a lot of the characters all come across as very cartoony and one-dimensional. I mean, for example, you've got the main prefect, whose role is just to be the bully, and he does nothing else except be the bully. I mean, there were parts of the movie where he's just been a bully, in situations where you think, hmm, maybe I should stop being so one-dimensional and actually try and help a bit. I mean, even the main love interest of the movie doesn't really do anything. You could have just called a generic hot girl, and it wouldn't have made a difference. But now, I want to talk about pretty much the main reason why I went to go see this movie, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. I mean, unfortunately for these two hysterical actors, they have nothing to do in the movie. For Simon Pegg, all he does is be lonely teacher, and for Nick Frost, all he does is be druggy in the woods. And the worst part about it is that if they weren't there, the movie would play out exactly the same had they not been there. I mean, also, Margot Robbie's in this movie, and she's completely wasted. She does absolutely nothing, and again, if she weren't there, the movie would play out exactly the same. So I don't know why they wasted time bringing this great actress into this movie. And also, it takes forever for the creatures to come into the movie. For the most part, they're obscured by darkness, or the shaky cam makes it impossible to see them. But when you actually do see them, they don't really look all that great either, because you can see the budgetary restrictions of the CGI. And again, another bad thing about this movie is that it just kind of ends. They do the thing, and then it's just like, yeah, we're done. Okay. And then they also added this one last scene, which was completely unnecessary and kind of undid one somewhat emotional scene, I guess you could say it was, even though it wasn't really all that emotional. I mean, you'll know what I'm talking about if, God forbid, you do go see this movie. Overall, guys, though I was initially intrigued by the premise of this movie, in the end, it ended up just completely unoriginal, boring, one-dimensional characters, some characters pretty much doing nothing throughout, and it was just unfunny as well. I mean, when you've got Simon Pegg and Nick Frost together, I don't really accept anything less than an excellent comedy. And this movie is far from excellent. I mean, unfortunately, the comedy in this movie lacks character, life, and it lacks any form of wit that you'd expect from a movie that stars Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Now, as for whether or not you guys should go see it, I can easily say that you should give this movie a hard pass, and if you're looking for a good Halloween movie, then you should just go watch the new Halloween movie, because you're guaranteed to get a much better time out of that movie than with this bore fest of a movie. Okay guys, that's my review of Slaughterhouse Rules. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's your favourite movie set inside a school? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below, and until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!